Well, don't expect this project to be done anytime any soon. It's real soon. It's the carriage plans for the 1841 Mountain House, or it's going to be for, uh, you know, Southern Advance. And I'm going to get the barrel from Hearn Ironworks. They've been, they're experienced in making barrels. Uh, you have to drill the uh, torch hole for the fuse, uh, which is a friction fuse. I think it is 3 sixteenths of an inch in diameter. I'd have to find out about that. Uh, the only thing I ordered so far was the carriage, uh, the wheels, the wheels and the axle. I think I got an axle length of 40 or 42 inches. I forgot what it was. And uh, I think, no, it was 42 inches axle length, hub to hub. And I'm not going to get it till uh, September. I think it's got to be cut the length and made. Um, I got the heavy duty one and I got 44 inch wheels uh, instead of 42. So they're a hair bigger. But being that the wheel is only uh, uh, two inches more diameter, it only means the cannon sits up one inch more. So because it's the radius, not the diameter. This is one of the different. This uh, I just picked these up on eBay. They're not really exactly correct. They're uh, well, they're close enough. They're the right width. They're about. They're thick enough. They're strong enough. They're about a quarter inch steel. These were the trunnion caps. In other words, the cannon sits in here, and it's got these two. Trunnions, it's like a metal thing that sticks out from the barrel and the caps they uh, I'm gonna actually bolt them on there. I'm not gonna use the uh, The little pin that they use and stuff. It's not gonna be exactly the way they, um, It was in 1861 1865 because These parts they sell for these cannons. They think they're gold plated They, they really do these two pieces of metal were 55 50 bucks delivered 25 each but if you got the exact correct OEM ones, and these are plenty strong enough, there's nothing wrong with them, uh, they would be at least double that or triple that more. So it's ridiculous. Um, this is a page from this, and I blew it up. It's the, um, how would you call it, the cheeks. In other words, uh, they sit, the barrel, this sits like this, this thing here, and the trunnion, which is that piece of metal, the big round thing that goes in here, it sits in here. What you got to do is you got to make a piece of metal. It goes over this, around this, and down here. And the way I want to do that is, since it's real thick stuff, you're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to bend it. I don't even have an acetylene torch, but what I'm going to do is, um, uh, this is two and three quarter inches for the mountain howitzer, the, uh, the diameter for the trunnion. Um, so this is the right size for this. Uh, what I'm going to do is get two and three quarter inch schedule 80, two and three quarter inch ID inside diameter schedule 80 pipe, which would be about a quarter inch thick or so, this long, and cut it in half, and then get quarter inch plate, I guess it's quarter inch thick too, quarter inch thick plate, weld it to that um, half pipe, and then uh, to make these bends, just take a cutoff wheel and cut off not all the way through, but enough that you can bend it, make the bend, and fill it up with a weld. If I get that stuff done, then we can go ahead and um, make this piece. But what I have to do is to make this piece bigger. And I got a piece of, uh, um, it's, all, it's like a piece of wood, basically, real thin, that I can trace this out and make it bigger. I make those, because you know what? They want, just for that trunnion plate that goes around here, it's a rip-off and a half. I mean, you're talking like $10 worth of metal, maybe 20 and they want 400 bucks for each one. See, this turns into like the sutlery garbage. Um, because it's correct, it's going to be a gazillion dollars. It's, it's turned into a rich man's BS sport. And uh, whether you can buy it or not, that's not the point. Uh, I want to try to do this cheap and then show people how to do it cheap. So if I get it done... Yeah, here's my mechanized cavalry coffee cup that I had custom made with the girl on it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> with the motorcycle. So, and I'll show you what I ordered. Uh, I'm just going to take a, um, just use this camera here to show you what I ordered. I already did order a nice, real strong set of heavy duty wheels and the axle. So, actually, once I get that and I make this metal piece, the rest of the stuff. It will be time consuming, but it can be done, and it can be done on a cheap, cheap because the strap that holds the, it's uh, 
uh, what do you call that thing? Well, there's like the axle, the, the, there's like a square axle that goes inside a 4x4 four four hardwood uh, board, I guess you would call it, piece of lumber. And then you got the trail. So it goes this way, like this is the axle, then you got the trail that goes that way, right? I don't know if you got, there's so many drawings in here, but this thing's got everything. And I also know where to get the handles. The guy that sells the, um, the handles in the back of the trail, the guy that sells the barrel, sells the handles for 50 bucks for a pair. Way cheaper than the original ones. The axle, um, just, a lot of these other parts, you don't need to put them in there right away, and um, you can make them later. But what you really want to have is you want to have the cheeks, the trunnion, the trunnion um, plates, the trunnion caps, um, where the, the, the plate that bolts the um, axle housing, I guess you call it, the wood axle, axle housing, to the trail. And actually, even the stuff on the end where the trail is, uh, it's got a piece on the end of the trail. Um, you can make that later. It doesn't need to be done. This would actually still be functional, 100% and safe. And again, I'm, I'm getting a barrel from uh, Hearn Ironworks. They're 1250, but I'm not doing that until this thing's done. Uh, and that might be it. Might be six months or a year down the road, for all I know. It's they're 1250 plus probably 350, 400 for shipping because it's coming all the way across country from, uh, you know, it's coming from like Oregon or something or Idaho. I think Idaho to Florida, and. Uh, it's got a half inch steel dom steel liner in it, which means drawn over mandrel, mandrel. So it's got a three inch bore. And with all that metal, plus having a high quality, very thick liner, it's extremely safe to shoot. And um, it's not gonna shoot live stuff. It's just gonna have powder in it to make a big noise. So it's not gonna shoot anything live anyway. It's just for like, uh, you know, display purposes. And I'll show you what the carriage is I ordered, and uh, that'll be a wrap for this. And the other thing is, um, this any video I put up on YouTube is going to be automatically linked to BitChute, uh, so you'll see them automatically. Um, the other thing is, not that I want to get off of YouTube, but who the hell knows, they might make you get off here, because I don't really know what videos they don't like and what they do like. I don't have nothing against Susan, but I'll tell you this at the end here, before I tell you, show, the, show you the actual wheels and axle I ordered. Uh, I think what's really going on with Google is it's been taken over by the U.S. military. The same jackasses that brought paperclip over to us from you know where who, right? So don't go blaming certain people on everything because uh, I think that's part of the scam, you understand? You know what I mean? I don't, I don't have nothing against Susan, you know, the one that runs YouTube. I don't know about her partner, but I like her. She's all right. But anyway, let me show you what we got for the uh, Canon... Uh, and this is just like, uh, you know, if I put this together, let me say, complete for $3,500 or less with, with the barrel, huh, that's dirt cheap, man. You know what I mean? And if, if we could do that, that means we, we can make more of these and put them out there and for our southern display and stuff like that. It'd be kind of cool. Okay, here's the cannon wheels so that are like 710 uh, plus 180 shipping, so 900 bucks basically. And it says here, you know, you bought this item, I already bought it, so um, you can see, you know, what they are uh, big old wheels, right? That's what will be coming in. You can notice there's a um, square axle, you got to route out the 4x4 hardwood axle housing. And you got to put that inside it, and then there's a plate that holds that in there. So you got to route out a, um, a slot for that part. And you can see, you know, they're well made. They're not. They're not cheap. First thing I'm going to do when I get them in is that I'm going to make sure um, they get coated up a whole bunch with, uh, you know, waterproofing stain and stuff from flood flood stain. So, but that that's already been ordered. And uh, if I make those trunnion plates. Um, one thing at a time, I got a lot of projects. This is gonna take me a while to do this, but if I get it done real cheap, you're gonna see how to do it cheap. And that's that's the thing. And cheap and good. And it's not gonna be exactly like the original original, but so what? You know what I mean? So what? Who cares? And you notice it's got the pins where you can pull off the wheels. That's why they were 
called a mountain howitzer. You could pull off the wheels and you could, like one pack mule would hold the wheels and the carriage, so you'd pull the wheels off so it would fit on one pack mule. The other pack mule would hold the, the cannon barrel, which weighs like 275 pounds. And then another pack mule would hold the ammunition, the gunpowder, and the balls and stuff. So that's why it was called the mountain howitzer. You used to be able to take it apart, put it on three mules, take it up in a mountain someplace, build it on four wheel drive, and set it up. So that was used out west a lot. So the prairie, prairie wheels are 42 inches. In height, I got 44. Pretty close. The reason I, I didn't go with the 42 because these guys, um, these 44 inch wheels, he's got them really super overbuilt. It's, it'd probably be stronger than stock, but who cares? And um, like I said, it's not going to be exactly like original, and somebody's going to be pointing that out, but um, I'm not here to play GQ, you know? It's going to be good and done right, but it's going to take a while.